Hey guys, I'm Sinead Grimes Beach and welcome back to my channel for the big bedroom makeover. Yes, somebody's very excited about it. And say, tell them, if you're not already subscribed, then you should pause and do that now so you can tune in to all sorts of our family's chaos that we have here on this channel. This video is gonna be two parts, but I decided to just make it one long bedroom makeover video because I was too excited about the reveal to break it up into two parts. If you're excited about our mid-century modern bedroom revamp, then please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any ideas for future DIY projects because I don't think quarantine is gonna be ending anytime soon for this familia so I want to hear what you want to see and I really hope that you enjoy watching this chaotic bedroom transformation with a toddler I'm not gonna lie it was a bit of a shit show but we made it in the end and I'm super happy with the results I hope you guys like what you see as well Mwah! DIY project number one is the headboard cushion I don't know why I thought it would be a really good idea to try to make one myself but I did. <laughs> Obviously, there's no online tutorials for this or patterns or anything like that. So I am flying by the seat of my pants. So here I have three yards of this beautiful caramel faux leather that I got on Etsy. I did get too much fabric on purpose because I have a feeling this isn't gonna go right the first time around. Here's hoping it looks somewhat decent. So Miss Bowie woke up. I just got to finish all of my cutting. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, DIY project number two. Paint the entire room. I hate everything to do with painting, but I'm so excited for the room to be white. Just clean, nice white. Not this icky, taupey, sort of purpley, bluey gray. It'll be a good change, but we have to do it first. So there's lots of rioting and looting going on in Los Angeles, um, which is so crazy to see. It's a bizarre and difficult thing to watch. Needless to say, I don't think we're gonna be getting much painting done tonight because we're glued to the news. I don't think we're gonna be making much progress on this. Bigger things going on in the world painting a bedroom we got one coat on one and a quarter walls the room will be white and in two to three months we are gonna pause for the evening we've been running back and forth to the tv to check up on the news and see what's going on our families don't live here we are our family here mm -hmm. um so when stuff like this goes on and with lockdown and everything it is a uh, you do lean on your friends a little bit more than normal yeah and they've been amazing so yeah, yeah that took up some time too and yeah we're grateful for that so very whatever anyway you'd much rather this video was 25 minutes and two days long wouldn't you <laughs> <laughs> with all the madness of trying to do this with a toddler, we completely forgot to film anything and we are taking apart and removing our bed from our room and uh -oh. Bowie's trying to climb it and it's it's very stressful but also very entertaining. How's it going? It's all right, actually. Bowie's been trying to ride this, <laughs> so I'm grateful that she has given up on that. You look like you're in the, what do they call them? Like the barracks? From back in the day, you know, when you're in the head thingy and you got your hands on either side. What's that called? It's like I got caught stealing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye. Bye then. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Our room is in shambles. The walls have one layer of very patchy paint on them. This is our soon to be old mattress. Our dresser is like way up from the wall. And there is just tape and drop sheets. Drop sheets? What do you call them? Plastic, whatever. Um, everywhere, so it's a complete mess. I am so excited to be getting rid of this queen 
bed of ours. It has given us restful sleeps for years and I'm very grateful to it, but I've wanted a king bed for so long because Josh loves to snuggle up while we're sleeping. And most mornings I find myself like on the edge about to roll off of the bed and he's just taken up the entire bed. Josh was very reluctant to get a king bed. He felt like that was speaking volumes about the closeness in our relationship. Hey, what's up? I was Are just saying- a, a made Bowie on that bed? No, I did not say that. <laughs> but... I did, I made bow on that bed. Is, is that why you're upset about losing the bed or are you upset about upgrading to a king because you think it's the first step towards a divorce? Wait, in this light, I look 106. <laughs> <laughs> Have you finally accepted that we're getting a king bed and it's gonna be a beautiful thing or are you still upset about it? I'm pretty upset about it, but it, the way that now I feel better because king bed for a king, isn't it? There you go. Don't mind my toddler's pooping sounds right next to us. Tonight, our goal is to finish painting the room. I think that might be a stretch. I think we might get half of the room done with a second coat, and tomorrow might be the finishing night to do the second half of a second coat. But fingers crossed, we just make incredible progress, and we're super fast painters. And then before you know it, bedroom makeover will be complete. Before we know it, probably not for another couple weeks. Are you gonna read the manual so you know how to use your drill? It's an important first step. What are you doing? We still have to paint an entire room tonight. You're gonna regret that. I'm showing off. For Clearly. My, for my fans. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Mum. <laughs> my arms are so tired now. Okay. Is that? Oh, Frankie. Stud finder, hold it up to Daddy. Boom, boom, boom. Get oh. it? No. Because you're a stud. Oh, thank you, baby. Well, we were both wrong. This could take more than a couple days to finish. We've really only gotten like a solid second coat on a quarter of the room. This is going to take a lot longer than we expected. No, it isn't. I'm going to finish it tonight. It's the morning after last night. We painted until about 11.30 at night. And now this morning, Josh is finishing everything off. We've got a baby on this, which is very scary. How's it going? This is our last corner. This is it? Yeah, pretty much. Wow. Hey, Bo, don't walk under there, babies. Bad luck. Bad luck, bad luck. Stay away. <laughs> Trying to keep a toddler away from a giant, very exciting looking ladder is no easy feat. And trying to keep her away from all the wet walls is no easy feat either. So it's just best to stay out here, finish breakfast while Josh finishes painting. And that means tonight we can actually, fingers crossed, put our new bed in our room and I'm so excited. The room looks so much bigger, white. It looks so much cleaner, more fresh. The daylight's just bouncing off them walls. The last night, man, I was like, shed a tear or two, just thinking this was, this was not, not the right time for this massive project. We're not professional painters. What was I thinking? It's beautiful. Is that, the, is that the rug happy dance? Ding, 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 ding. Should we just skip the bed and, and just have a rug in the room? Um, are you stuck right now? <laughs> How did you even get in there? Good effort, Bob. I'll help you. I'll help you. <laughs> we did it. We got the bed together. And that means tonight is our first night in a king size bed. <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. My happy dance was a little more peachy. I'm joking. <laughs> Shout out to Allswell for gifting us this beautiful mattress, their supreme mattress. 
fit for a king. It says on the box, be careful, I'm heavier than I look. Not They're not joking. I literally didn't touch it. I don't know how he managed to maneuver this so well, but well done. High fives. Yeah, I know. I feel yeah. Let's just get the mattress Thank on the bed. Thank you all as well. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, you all as well. Mwah. My leg is stuck. Oh, is it? Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> all of the essential pieces are in. We haven't dressed up the room at all yet, but we put a lot of sweat and tears into getting all the essentials. They're like a linen that kind of looks almost burlappy. I yeah. love it. Yeah, it's cool, man. You hate them. No, they're cool. I just, they look cool. They remind me of sandbags. That's actually exactly what I was going oh, for. Oh, there you go then. Love you. <laughs> Mission accomplished. So remember that headboard cushion that I was really amped on making? Basically, I accidentally ordered two beds <laughs> because I thought I canceled the first one. And then the first one showed up. I built it assuming that that one was already the one that was canceled and this was the second bed because both were very similar in the way that they looked. And then I thought, hmm, that headboard doesn't look tall enough for this headboard cushion. And in fact, it was the wrong bed. It was actually the bed that I thought I'd canceled, but the cancellation never went through. So Wayfair customer service was amazing and just stopped shipment on the second bed that I ordered, which did have a tall enough headboard for this headboard cushion. So. Really long-winded story short, I'm not making a headboard cushion. Now instead, I'm just gonna use the panels that I cut out the other day to make pillows. I'm gonna talk you through how I'm gonna DIY these faux leather pillows if you feel like making faux leather pillows anytime soon. The first thing you're gonna need to do is line up your zipper in the center of the pillow where you want it placed and add basting tape to the corners of the pillow where your zipper begins and ends. Then you're gonna flip it over so the right sides are facing and use chalk to mark the beginning and end of your zipper once again. Then peel off the backing of the basting tape and attach the right sides together at the corners. Now it's time to head to your sewing machine to sew those corners together. If you're ever sewing with faux leather, I definitely recommend using a denim needle and not a leather needle. I made this mistake the first time I tried this project and you end up getting so many skip stitches, it's just not gonna work at all. Once those corners are sewed together, you're gonna go back to your basting tape and you are gonna attach it to the wrong side of the fabric all along the edge. Then you are gonna fold up that edge a quarter inch, give or take. It's basically just the width of that allowance on either side of the zipper. Then you're gonna get that handy dandy basting tape back in your hands and you're gonna run it the whole way along to that right side edge that you just exposed and folded over. And you're gonna attach your zipper to that edge. It's a lot of basting tape, I know, but you can't use a basting stitch on leather or faux leather because the holes that you create with your sewing needle are permanent. Then head back to your sewing machine and attach your zipper permanently. So you're gonna wanna sew obviously both sides of the zipper and then you're also gonna wanna sew a nice closing seam on either end. Now the hard part's done, all you have to do is attach basting tape one more time to the right side of all the remaining edges, fold both sides together and get sewing until it's all done. Make sure that zipper is open by the way before you sew all of those remaining edges together because I made that mistake by accident one time and it was a pain in the butt to undo. When your pillowcase is totally finished with sewing, all you have to do is flip it inside out, insert your cushion insert and zip it shut. It looks super cute, doesn't it? In the last video, we asked you guys your opinion on whether or not a leaning mirror was a good or terrible idea for our bedroom, knowing that we have a toddler and a small dog. We just went ahead and ordered that mirror. So we are going to open that up. It's beautiful. I'm really excited to show you guys and we are gonna secure it to the wall immediately because as you can probably see from the movement of this little clip my child is absolutely insane and she will pull that thing over in half a second so we need to get it secured to the wall asap hello hello welcome back to do it with yoshi do it with yoshi that's okay. what diy stands for didn't you know oh no so this is the mirror 
currently leaning against the door. It won't be. No, baby. No. Did you find a stud? So we have found out that there is more than one stud in this room. One, two, three, and four. Oh! It's official! Cute. Yes, we are. Cute, cute, cute. <laughs> All right. Now what? I'm gonna do it. So to attach this to the wall, we're using these handy dandy little baby proofing device thingies that I don't know the name of and zip ties. The mirror already has hooks in the back so we don't need to attach one of these to the back of the mirror which just makes it easier eliminating that step. So these go into the wall and then the zip ties go through the hooks and we can just tighten them into these things as tight as we want to make sure that it stays totally in place. Done. That's as far as I can push it forward. Let me show the people. Yeah, boom, perfect. Cute and safe. High five. <laughs> I think I just heard the door. <gasps> the nightstands are here. The nightstands are here. Okay, that was the like fanciest delivery experience I've ever had in my life. These are from West Elm. They like quality checked them. They took all the packaging away. It was like so nice. So I highly recommend ordering online from West Elm. I've never actually ordered anything from there before, but it was a really fancy experience, wasn't it? Very VIP, hey? I'll take one and you take the other, okay? Yeah? You think you can manage? What do you think? I don't know. They are beautiful. So I really wanted these new nightstands because this dresser, which I love and you saw in the last video, is one of the very few pieces of furniture we were keeping in this bedroom. And these nightstands, they have a glossy finish. They've got a bunch of colors all over them. The wood stain is a lot darker than it. And this is like a matte wax finish. It just looks like natural wood. It's kind of a light to medium brown. So I wanted more modern in style. These are quite vintage looking. And I wanted it to color match because I didn't want it to look like too hodgepodgey in here, like eclectic, but I still wanted everything to go together. And these were such a perfect find. Same wax finish, totally matte, no gloss at all. And it's literally the same exact light to medium brown. And the dresser is from World Market, like six years ago. They're really a pretty spot on match from completely different stores from you know years apart as far as the collections were concerned. I don't even know if you can still get this dresser. Oh my gosh, okay. So I ordered <laughs> two different kind of plants for the corner of the bedroom. I thought maybe we would keep both. We'll just see. Josh is like, no, definitely only one in the corner. Otherwise it'll start to look like a rainforest in here. So I've had this little one just sitting in the corner for a couple of days. It's really cute, but I want it to be taller. And then this one just arrived and it's freaking massive. I don't know. I feel like I need something that's a happy medium, but I'm going to swap these two out and see. You can't even see the whole thing in there. It's so massive. It's way too big, but I'm going to leave it there <laughs> just to see Josh's reaction because he's going to die. You got the other tree. We got the other tree. Okay. And um, well, this was the one you were excited five. about. This is so the I'm one excited. I was excited about. I'm excited. Five. Oh. <laughs> Did it come with a bird? <laughs> Wait, what? Is that a joke? I told you to get like the Rainforest Cafe in here. I've got an idea because the height of it is what you're concerned about. Yeah. Why don't you fill that with rocks? Now I'm done. <laughs> so this is it. 
Our bedroom has been made over. She's lying. Oh. <laughs> You're totally right. <laughs> it's not done. It's so ugly. We actually did get the light. It's just sitting in a box on our dining table because we're not 100% comfortable having an electrician come into our house yet. But I'm really excited for whenever that day comes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody likes it. We're all very happy. This bed is literally the comfiest bed I think I've ever, ever, ever laid down in. And this room is the most beautiful bedroom I've ever had in my life. So I'm, I'm really proud of us. I think we pulled it off. If you guys like it, then give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any other ideas of rooms that I should DIY and decorate while we're in quarantine. Don't tell Josh. Bowie is over me talking to you. So subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video. Ah, no! That was a lot of work. <laughs>